We're going to go open a new tab, and I'm going to type in something called the Ord-Oracle.com, and this is with our friend Tim Ord. Check it out, guys. This is a fantastic letter as well. We are with Tim every Tuesday and Thursday. Usually Tom is with it. Now, Tim has been calling this thing in the gold market for quite a while. I mean, look at that. Remember, you would hear me talk about how nothing was happening in gold, and I didn't like it. I didn't see what was going on, and Tim and Tom we're like, no, 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 no. We've been in this way longer and check this thing out. Anyways, fantastic analysis. And we were happy to have Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle on with us today. Tim, are you there? I'm here. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So, it's good to talk uh, to you. Yeah, I haven't talked so. to you since all this started happening in gold. So I'm interested to see what you got for us today. Yeah, it's, it's we're looking. You got to really look at the bigger time frames and it, it tells a pretty good story. You know, we kind of. Um, there was a bunch of signals, or not a bunch, but we started getting actually, uh, uh, bully signals actually last July. And they, they really didn't go up, but they didn't go down, which is kind of interesting. But anyhow, let's look at the bigger picture. We'll talk about the short term picture a little bit later. But the first chart, uh, this chart, uh, uh chart number one, yep. goes back to, uh, like 1994. And the middle window is the XAU gold ratio. And this is a monthly chart. And we're going to look, uh, I think chart number three simplifies this chart. But anyhow, we'll start off this chart. But anyhow, I drew trend lines on this XAU gold chart. In a nutshell, when the XAU ratio is going up, that means uh, the XAU, which is a gold index, is outperforming gold. And that's what happens in bull markets. Uh, some of the big bull markets of the 1980s, that ratio is going up. And in general, this ratio has been going down since about 1994. But there's you know, blips up you know, from like roughly about 2000 to 2009 and went up. Not a lot, but it did go up and went down. And since 2014, more or less, we've been going sideways uh, on this ratio. Uh, but what I really want to point out, I drew two blue lines on this chart. Uh, the top blue line goes all the way back. Uh, to 1995, approximately, and connecting the highs. And the bottom line goes back to about 1994, connecting the lows. And uh, what I really want to concentrate on is a blue one uh, that's connecting the highs from the 1994 highs. Right. We've been basically banging against that trend line, that downtrend line, since about mid-2020. We haven't broke through it yet, but it's not backing away from it. So, in my opinion, uh, since mid-2021, we're building energy to pop through that line. Now, this line goes back to 1994, so that's a 20-year, mm. was that 20-year? No, that's a 30-year trend line, <laughs> uh, right? So, it's you know, the bigger the trend line, the more meaningful to move after. So you got a 30-year trend line here. We're about ready to break. I think we're going to break, you know, probably fairly soon. We well, haven't broke it yet. But uh, this would change the character of the market going forward probably for multi-years. So it's a pretty big deal. Um, you know, where's where's that ratio going to go? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we break that trend line, normally the longer the trend line, when you do break it, it, it is a significant um, happening, I guess you might say. Right. And normally, also, when you break a trend line, you need a sign of strength. So what that says, if we do break that trend line, which I think we will because we've got different buy signals that um, we got on the weekly, the monthly, and actually the daily on the XAU and other uh, gold indexes, we'll probably see a sign of strength through that trend line. So what I'm saying is even though gold market has been strong over the last actually just month, we actually is probably going to get stronger because of this ratio. Once that ratio turns up, it will probably turn up with a sign of strength because that's what needs to happen to break a trend line. So right um, min minimum where it's going to go is probably, um, if you look back from, uh, I don't know, 2012 to two, the current time frame, mm -hmm. I drew a uh, uh, blue trend horizontal line across there connecting the highs. I think minimum we go back to that trend line. I see. And uh, right now that ratio is 0 .5, 0 .057. Uh, to get back to that blue trend line, the horizontal trend line looks like about 
0.09, give or take. So if gold stocks, what that says is gold stocks without, if the ratio goes back to, I say, 0.09, that's about a 40, or no, that's about a, oh, let's see, do, do my math here in my head. It's probably about a 70, 80% move in that ratio. That means on average, gold stocks will move about 70, 80%. Hmm. So that's that's just moving that ratio. Yeah, and some other gold stocks will out will outperform that. Sure, but in general, if a gold if a gold ratio is said to say at a nickel, which a lot of them are, it'll move back to you know about nine cents, um, just just because of this ratio. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, it's, it's something really important. Have we broke that ratio yet, or that trend line yet? Not yet. So let's flip to chart two. Yeah. Okay, now this kind of narrows it down. This uh, dotted red trend line coming down from the top of the chart is where that trend line is on a short-term basis. Uh, so, and it, uh, um, so anyhow, so you can see a short-term view. Uh, anyhow, the, the middle window is the weekly XAU gold ratio, and the window above that is the RSI for that ratio. And the blue lines on this chart show the times when the RSI of this ratio got below 30 and turned up, which is a buy signal. So we got a buy signal here, probably looks like about February of this year, maybe, you know, maybe in the end of February, 1st of March. It's a fairly new uh, buy signal. Most of them last around six months or longer. Uh, so, but we're, we're getting close to that, that down trend line. Looks like uh, to break that trend line, we need a close above uh, about 0.06. That, um, horizontal trend line I had drawn on the chart of, uh, before is around 0.09. So at a minimum, we should move back to 0.07. Uh, that's what has happened in the past. But if we do it this time around, we'll break that trend line going back to 1994. So I doubt we'll stop at 0.07. We'll go some way higher number. Um, how high it is, I don't know. But all this stuff is happening right now. To get this type of setup on this bigger time frame, uh, you, know, you, you know, it doesn't happen very often. It happens once every couple of decades. And we're ending into this period right now where this may happen. Last time something this big was going on was probably back in 2020 or 2000 even uh i hear the music yeah say, tim this is awesome stay stay with us because uh we'll get back to this folks stay tuned we'll be right back welcome back folks this is jacob shoot filling in for tom o'brien we are currently with tim ord of the ord oracle tim are you there with us still yep yep okay fantastic let's start on two yep um the bottom window is the XAU, and I have a, a line drawn on the connecting the highs on the XAU right against that trend line right now. And uh, again, we're on a bicycle because of the RSI of the weekly uh, um, weekly XAU gold ratio gave a bicycle here. I think February or March recently. Previous buy signals at a, at a at this type of signal lasts at a minimum of six months. So we're still early in that signal. So most likely, we're going to bust through that blue trend line I have drawn on the XAU, which also just, again, when you break a trend line, you should see a sign of strength. That confirms the break. So XAU, in my opinion, will get stronger here in the coming weeks as it breaks that trend line. Also, we're going to have another, you know, the XAU gold ratio right above it. Breaking that trend line, you should see a sign of strength. That's the reason why uh, uh, these gold stocks, I think, are, are really going to turn the corner probably pretty strongly here in the coming weeks. Let's go to chart three. Yes. If you can. Give me one right. second. I'm trying to get it loaded up. All right. All right. We are good to go. All right, good to go. Okay, this is just a line chart. The other charts were kind of messy, but the middle window is a monthly XAU chart. You can see the top trend line I've drawn down back uh, from the 2000 or 1996 highs down to where it is. You can see a little bit better that ratio. I got circled in red there, just right at that trend line. And we're on a buy signal because of, of a six-month buy signal on the RSI XAU gold ratio. So either this... 
this uh, XAU ratio breaks above the red line or goes below the blue line. Well, it's not going to go blue line because we're on a buy signal, so that means the ratio is going to go up. So anyhow, we're going to bust that ratio. The bottom window is the monthly gold, which already had a breakout. We broke above the neckline of head and shoulders bottom. Uh, so as of right now, the gold stocks, per se, have not broke out yet, but that's probably coming here pretty quick. So, but, you know, I wanted to show you on the bigger time frames where we are. So if you go break below on that red trend line coming mm-hmm. back down from the 1996 highs, you should rally back at least. I have a blue lines drawn on the XAU gold chart there. Uh, we'll probably get back to at least the top trend line at minimum, which is around 1. And, again, we're 0.057. So, you know, you're looking for a 90% move in the gold stocks. Um, you know, probably, I don't know, what would happen this year? I don't know. I really don't have a time frame, but soon. So let's flip to chart four. Yeah. Uh, or unless you have a question about No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, I'm listening. This is awesome stuff. All right. Chart four, you know, this is a little, you got the same thing. You got the monthly, the middle window is a monthly XAU gold chart going back to 1984, looks like. And the bottom window it's just a little bit different method, but it just kind of like reconfirms what's going on. But the bottom method, going back to 1984, is the slow stochastics. And slow stochastics is picked out every uh, bull market bottom going back to 1984. There was one failure back in 2012. Uh, you can see a little line there. I have failed on that slow stochastic chart. But anyhow, back in uh, mid-2022, which I, August of 2022, I thought that was an important low. I thought that low was not going to be broken. And one of the reasons why, because of this momentum chart. Now, I got some other indicators said that August 2000, or actually July 2022, uh, I got another one, August 2022, and uh, September 2022, different type of signals that all came in at that low of, of uh, late 2022. So I'm thinking that's a low. Market popped up a little bit, and the stochastics kind of just went sideways uh, to down a little bit. But if you notice, once you hit below minus 20, in all cases, you went back above plus 80. Mm-hmm. So what this chart says to me, we're early in the stages of this bull market. So I think the bull market really started in 2022. And some of the, you know, most gold stocks haven't done well yet. Right. The reason why you need this ratio, which is the monthly XAU ratio, to start going up. That means all gold stocks are starting to participate, not just uh, probably the generals are coming off the bottom first. Then uh, everything will be starting coming off the bottom here later. But. When this ratio gets back up to plus 80, uh, air, you know, looks like a plus 90 are times when you get consolidations, you know, big consolidations. So we're, we're a long ways from that. You know, how long would that take to get up there? At a minimum, if the rally's starting right now, at a minimum, it would take a year to get back to that ratio. That doesn't mean that's the end of the bull market. It does mean that you could probably got a multi-month consolidation phases. So I'm thinking we're looking like if you look at 2,000 low at the bottom window on the uh, slow stochastics, we kind of turned up pretty quickly. But every time it got to 80 there, or around 80, you know, you got a multi-month consolidation, and you, you kept going higher. So I'm thinking we may look something like that. We get to 80, we consolidate for several months, and you start going up again. Uh, the reason why, because we're breaking that trend line back to 1996 high, you're breaking that, and that means a multi-year um, change of character in the market is happening. So instead of a, a downtrending market and the XAU gold ratio, you may have another 10 years of uptrending or something similar to right. that. You know, be a multi-year, I don't know how many years. Mm-hmm. We'll have to wait and see down the road. But this momentum chart, this is turned up. we kind of gone sideways here. We're probably in the midst of turning up uh, right now. So let's, let's flip to chart five. I don't know if we'll be able to get through all these charts. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to pull up chart five right now. We are up. Perfect. All right. This is a monthly uh, middle windows XEU uh, monthly chart. Top window is the uh, 
monthly cumulative up-down volume in the bottom window is uh, monthly cumulative advanced decline. Now, these give, they don't catch the bottom and they don't catch the top, but they give the, this type of chart gets the 80% in between. So it hasn't closed above. To get the signal, you need both those charts, the top chart and the bottom chart, to close above the mid Bollinger Band. And it gave a sell signal back in 2021, and it's still been on a sell signal because we hadn't closed above the mid Bollinger Band. So this is a momentum chart of the advanced decline and up down volume. So this is the meat of the rally. Once these things, once these two indicators get above their mid Bollinger Band, they don't whip around above it and below it. They either stay above it multi months or they stay below it multi months. And, and in this case, we gave a sell cycle in 2021. We haven't turned up yet. I need to close above the mid Bollinger Band. It doesn't predict. You know, the bond's probably in in August of 2022, but, you know, we've kind of been in a consolidation phase, but the strongest part of the rally comes when both those indicators close above the mid-Bollinger band. That hasn't happened yet, but we're awful close. You know, if we bust through, the middle window is the XAU gold chart again. We bust through that tr red trend line there with a sign of strength, both those uh, uh charts will probably bump, 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 jump above the mid Bollinger band. Fantastic. T so Tim, I thank you so much for joining us. I know we didn't get through all the charts, but come back Thursday. I think Tom will be here. I, I, I'm really looking forward to hearing more about this. So. All right. Tim, Talk thank you, you so much. Folks, stay right there.